I'm Troy Kirby with my Edmonds News with a quick look at the 2021 Washington State Legislative Session. The Senate Committee on Housing and Local Government held a public hearing on engrossed substitute House Bill 1515, which would allow rental security deposit waiver fees for tenants. The bill passed the House 98-0 on March 8th and would have to pass the Senate in order to make its way to the governor's office for his signature. Uh, This is one of the bills that proves there is no such thing as a good little bill. When it first uh, came to me, it seemed like a simple idea. And as we scratched the surface, we realized, you know, we need some consumer protections. And really on both sides of the ledger, uh, consumer protections for landlords to make sure that the product that they're purchasing is is what they need and what works for them. And of course, uh, consumer protections for tenants to make sure that there's some transparency. Um, Our mission is to eliminate security deposits. We do that by providing insurance to the apartments, to the landlords for up to $5,000 in lost rent and $500 in damages. Once protected by insurance, the owners are more comfortable offering no deposit options. So renters can skip paying the security deposit, which in Washington averages $1,500, and instead pay a monthly deposit waiver fee that in Washington averages $28. Nationwide, when given the option, 92% of renters choose to pay the modest waiver fee instead of the expensive security deposit. Um, I'm here this morning only to discuss one sentence in the bill that would limit the availability of insurance coverage to Washington consumers. In Section 1, Subsection 3C, the second sentence states that as July 1st, 2024, only companies authorized by the insurance commissioner can sell this product. Um, Well, under property and casualty lines of business, there are two insurance markets that provide insurance coverage for Washington consumers. One is called the admitted market, those that are authorized by the insurance commissioner, and another called non-admitted market. You may know these companies as surplus line insurance companies. Surplus line companies provide coverage when the admitted market finds something too risky or fails underwriting guidelines, or the product simply does not have enough loss experience for the admitted market to write coverage. I'm testifying this morning in opposition to engrossed substitute House Bill 1515. Our concerns for this bill are specific to Section 1, Subsection 3C, which only allows authorized or admitted insurance companies to provide insurance to landlords who want to offer it to tenants in lieu of a security deposit. This provision cuts out surplus line carriers from providing coverage in this scenario. Taking away the opportunity for surplus line carriers to provide coverage would be unprecedented and detrimental to the insurance buying public, as surplus line carriers fill a critical void for consumers when other options are not available. Uh, This bill has undergone significant work and establishes important protections for tenants whose landlords opt into deposit waiver insurance policies. We're signed in other today because the insurance products this bill seeks in large part to regulate are new. Lease lock is currently the only product of its kind, and we want to be prepared to respond to the need for future work as this market inevitably expands and changes. Thank you for watching the Daily Legislative Report by My Edmonds News, covering the 2021 legislative session.